the D&D TV series could follow one of its most iconic characters. Roll for initiative and prepare for adventure, D&D fans, because Wizards of the Coast has officially declared 2021 to be Hot Drow Summer. Well, maybe they didn't use those exact words, but if you're feeling wistful for dristful stories across a wide variety of mediums, the burden of Dewarden has been alleviated thanks to a plethora of tales about one of the most iconic and enduring characters in Dungeons & Dragons history. On Thursday, Wizards of the Coast announced a summer-long celebration of all things Drist Dewarden, and for those who don't know, Drist is a delightfully dour drow ranger, a dark elf who left a life in the Underdark and the Cult of the Spider Queen Loth behind, for adventures up above with comparatively pasty smooth skins like me, or whatever other peasants he encounters up there. I don't know. Created by fantasy author Ari Salvatore, Drist first appeared in 1988's The Crystal Shard as part of the Icewind Dale trilogy which takes place in the Forgotten Realms campaign setting. That will come into play later in this video. Although he originally appeared as a supporting character, Drist has gone on to become one of the most famous and enduring characters in all of D&D's sprawling lore, appearing in countless video games and novels. And yes, before you ask, in true D&D fashion, he does have a magic panther that he hangs out with, and there is better justification for this than like 99% of player characters out there who ask their DM if they can have a miniature war rhino or whatever for reasons undisclosed, but I digress. Wizards of the Coast kicked off their All Things Drist celebration with an animated short written by R.A. Salvatore about the drow's early days narrated by none other than Benedict Cumberbatch whispering sweet nothings into your ears about the Spider Queen Lolf and how Drist screwed up big time by leaving the Underdark behind. And naturally, that also led to my editor Matt talking all about the Spider Queen of the Honored Matre from Chapter House Dune, which is neither here nor there, even when it's definitely there. While Wizards announced everything from an R.A. Salvatore penned new Legends of Drist novel, to Drist Magic the Gathering cards coming to the upcoming Adventures in the Forgotten Realm set, to a Dark Alliance video game starring Drist and the Companions, the most interesting line in the entire press release involves a live-action television show. In addition to video games and novels, The Legend of Drist has action figures, Magic the Gathering cards, Funko Pop figures, Halloween costumes, t-shirts, replica scimitars, and more. A live-action TV show is in development with E1 Entertainment, and although not focused on Drist, a movie set in the Forgotten Realm starring Chris Pine, Hugh Grant, Reggie John Page, Michelle Rodriguez, Sophia Lillis, and Justice Smith is in production. Honestly, I have a lot of questions about those scimitars, but we don't have time to get into that right now. And while we've reported on the movie previously on Nerdist.com, the live-action D&D TV show has been far less tangible. As The Hollywood Reporter Hollywood reported back in January, John Wick writer Derek Kolstad is developing and writing the live-action series set in the Dungeons & Dragons universe. Apart from that, though, news about this series has been scarcer than a successful perception check for when my half-orc paladin walks into a room that's just absolutely teeming with goblins lurking in the shadows. Call me Natural One because I f***ing miss everything. That wording of the press release, though, confused many fans and outlets alike, prompting Polygon to reach out to Wizards for clarification. In a statement to Polygon, Wizards said the D&D movie is not focused on Drist, but there is a TV show in development that might be. Might be? Okay, if I had to make an insight check, I would say that Wizards definitely isn't telling us everything here. And based on Derek Kolstad's oeuvre of stories about handsome dudes who are secretly very good at murdering people, but only when pushed to their absolute breaking point, I don't know, like John Wick and Nobody and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it makes sense that this version of the D&D live-action series would center on an iconic Forgotten Realms character who fits that bill exactly. And look, this series might ultimately crush fans' dreams of seeing the full-fledged live-action adventures of Drist Doerden, but there's still a possibility this might be the Forgotten Realm series that fans have been waiting for. Regardless of whether or not Drist is the focus of said series, he would almost definitely make an appearance if it is set within one of their most prolific and enduring campaign settings. I mean, they're tapping that for the movie as well, so clearly they're interested in Forgotten Realms again. Only time will tell, so go ahead and take a long rest in the meantime while we keep you up to date on all things Dungeons, Dragons, and Drist on Nerdist.com. But first, tell us, what do you think about this news? What do you want to see from a live-action D&D series? And what other existing D&D characters do you want to see on screens large and small? Let us know in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, stay tuned to Nerdist.com.